Hi, welcome to week three of Ask Phil. This week we're talking about lice. I've uh, received an email from a lovely lady called Emma who has 21 chickens, some of which are very, very uh, bald around the neck and the old rear turret, um, but only some of them. And they're all roughly the same age birds, roughly the same type. So ignoring the obvious that it's the molting season, um, the most likely cause for this is chicken lice. Uh, now, lice are between one and four millimeters long, and they are the same color as the skin of the chicken, so they are hard to see. Right, this is uh, our model today, Doris. Um, she's going to help us show where lice are and how to look for them. Um, hopefully she hasn't got any, um, but we're going to need the other end of her, so we'll just turn around. Right, well, Doris is now, uh, now turned around, and uh, what we need to do is gently lift, lift the feathers on the rear turret and have a good look, especially around the base of these tail feathers. If you can see any of those crusty deposits there that are louse eggs and look, part the feathers and just hold still for a while and see if you can see anything moving. Now there's no little crusty bits in there. Doris looks to be mercifully louse free, which she should be because she's one of my chickens. Whoops. Thank you, Doris. Most chickens carry a few lice. It's one of the perks of being a chicken. Uh, but you'll find that if your bird is at all low, so when it's molting, when it's out of lay, um, if it's stressed, if it's being bullied, then they're more likely to get parasites on them. Uh, it's a bit like us going into a room full of, uh, with somebody with the flu in it. If you're bright and perky, you might not get it. If you're feeling really grotty that day and low, then you will probably catch it. So that's what happens. Lice live on the birds uh, and they spread from bird to bird by contact or by crawling onto the perch or into the nest box uh, and then going on to the next bird. So you need to treat the birds to get rid of the lice and then treat the house. Um, the signs that you've got lice on, on your chickens are one, that you can see lice. That's always a good one. Um, the nits or eggs around the base of the shafts, especially the tail feathers. Um, signs of irritation, where the bird's over grooming or over scratching. Um, feather pecking, uh, especially self feather pecking, um, especially on the back end. Uh, and egg loss, where the number of eggs is going down because the birds are getting stressed. And uh, bald bare bottoms is, 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 is your favourite. <laughs> bald bare bottoms, out of molting season, the birds have probably got lice. So to treat the lice, the first thing you do is to use a product like um, Battle's Red Mite Powder, which is um, a pesticide based powder. Now, although it says Red Mite Powder, this is the powder that can be put on the birds. They also do a poultry louse powder. This is the powder that cannot be put on the birds. This is used to treat the house and the bedding. So you have to remember that you one of them on the birds, one of them in the bedding. Um, the other thing that you can do is use uh, something like ivermectin, which is a topical uh, spot on treatment. Now this is not licensed for use in poultry. So I cannot tell you to use this product. Lots of vets prescribe this product. Lots of people use it. Um, it's not licensed for poultry. Therefore, if you do use it, it's sort of three or four drops on the back of the neck of the chicken. Um, if you do use it, do not consume eggs for 28 days. And if you're selling eggs, you certainly shouldn't use it anyway. The other way of helping to make sure that your birds don't get lice is to use, uh, uh, give them a regular dust bath. So give them an area of dry um, sand or ashes, that sort of thing, and mix in with that diatomaceous earth. Um, which is available in several brands. This is our own brand. Um, it's quite cheap. Put it in with the, um, the sand or the ashes in your chicken's dust bath, which is nice and dry. And as they dust themselves, which is their way of getting rid of the lice, you'll find that this will really help and reduce the incidence of not only lice, but mites and other little nasties that are around. So pretty much that's chicken lice. 
how to get rid of them and how to prevent them. Thank you very much. Right, uh, we'll be back again next week. Um, so if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask Phil, uh, then please either email us on uh, info at flightsofancy.co.uk. Remember, that's flight with a Y. Uh, or go on our Facebook page and message, message us in. Um, if you're interested in any of the products that we've been showing you today, then uh, you can go on to uh, Flight So Fancy's website at www.flightsofancy.co.uk. All the products are there and lots and lots of useful information.